Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. If you've been around the 3D printing space for a while, you will have heard of Form Labs. They are well known for the resin and powder 3D printers. They are also well known for being walled gardens. They are high-end printers with their specialty resin and that's it. Well today that has changed. Form Labs has recently released their creator series of 3D printer resin, specifically designed for non-Form Labs hobbyist resin printers. That's right, Form Labs resin on non-Form Labs machines. Crazy! So I've got their Creator Tough and Creator Super Clear resin for me to try out and see what all the hype is about. Formlab says that these resins are ultra low odor and safer to use than other resins on the market. If you look anywhere about resin printing, you'll see people complaining about headaches, eye and throat irritation when working with non-ventilated resin printers. Formlab says that these could be due to the use of ACMO, a common chemical used in inexpensive resin, which is why they've designed the Creator series of resins to be ACMO free. So let's print a whole bunch of stuff with the Creator series resins, see how well they perform, and maybe along the way we'll find out what the heck ACMO is and why we'd want our resins to be made without it. But before we begin, the resin and washing fluid was provided for me to review by Formlabs. As with all of my videos, they aren't paying me for this review. They simply provided the materials for me to try out and everything I say is my own honest experience using them over the last month. My videos do have affiliate links in the description, so if you are interested in anything you see in my videos, you can use those links to help support my channel. We appreciate it. So let's get into it. The Creator series has two types of resin. The Creator Tough is a gray resin that is impact resistant and semi-flexible, designed for parts that would be handled, or mishandled. It's an ABS-like resin perfect for miniatures and figurines. On the other hand, the Creator Super Clear resin is a more general purpose resin, designed to be stiff and strong. I'm going to test using my Anycubic Photon Mono M5. Let's open up the Creator Tough resin and pour it into the vat. While I give it a few minutes for the bubbles to pop, let's slice a model. The first question when using any new resin is, well, what settings do I use? If you are lucky, the manufacturer might put an exposure time on the side, and maybe a suggested bottom layer exposure if they are feeling generous. But here, Formlabs has gone above and beyond. During development, they tested the resin on seven of the most popular hobbyist printers from a variety of manufacturers, and published full validated setting profiles for these printers. And not only that, but they have fast and reliable variants for each of the machines. You can download the settings in Chitsubox or Lychee format, or see the full settings in their technical manual. This made it extremely easy for me to figure out what settings to use for my Anycubic Photon Mono M5. Find the closest model, download the settings, and I was good to go. So let's start the prints. Now the first thing you'll notice are the exposure times. No, this isn't a typo. For my Anycubic Photon Mono M5, Formlabs is recommending a 9 second exposure per layer. For comparison, this Sunlu resin recommends 3 seconds per layer for my monochrome LCD panel. The Creator series of resin is a much slower reacting resin, taking about 3 times longer exposure per layer. And they have a good reason for that, and that reason brings us back to ACMO. I'm no material scientist, but ACMO, or 4 acroloyal morpholine, is a chemical commonly used in 3D printing resins. According to Formlabs, manufacturers like it because it is cheap and it's highly reactive, allowing them to sell at lower costs while advertising fast print speeds. But the EPA has issued a significant new use regulation for ACMO because of the dangerous effects when contacting the skin and breathing in vapors. For the full details, I'll leave a link to the Formlabs blog post about ACMO and why they don't use it in their resins. But they claim that the headaches and eye and throat irritation that some people experience with resin printing is due in part to ACMO. So when creating a safer, non-ACMO containing resin, they have to use less reactive chemicals which require longer exposure times to cure. To help make up for that slower exposure times, Formlabs has tried to optimize the other printer settings, like lifting speeds and distances, to help make those stages as quick as possible. So even though the exposure is three times slower, your total print time won't be three times as long. I'll talk more about that once these prints have finished. So speaking of which, this print is done. The recommended washing time for the Creator Tough is 10 minutes in either IPA or Formlabs washing solvent, and then post-cured for 10 minutes. This gray resin is an ABS-like resin that is impact resistant and semi-flexible. As a Dungeons & Dragons nerd, I found this resin perfect for printing miniatures. The resin can bend a fair amount before breaking, which means thin features like staffs, swords, and tails won't easily snap. It also captures the fine detail that I would expect from a resin printer. This torture test from Chitsubox gave impressive results. You can see all the different tests yourself, but notably the gap test started to close around 0.2mm 
and the 0.2mm wall also started to fail. But the bridging test is flawless, and so is the thin lattice work. It failed the four light support tests, but passed all four medium and heavy supports. Overall, this is a great showing for the Creator Tough. I also love the Eiffel Tower as a stress test for resin printers. And the Creator Tough resin is interesting. I think the semi-flexibility caused an issue with the railing around the first floor. The railing and pillars printed, but I think that they buckled during the washing and curing stage. You can see a similar effects with the thinnest of the lattice members, where they have a little bit of wave to them. The thick members had enough stiffness to remain straight, but the thinner ones were a little flexible. So let's swap over to the Creator Super Clear. The print settings are very similar, with equally long exposure times. With it being a clear resin, we can watch the exposure in action. Recommended lifting speeds were a bit faster than the Creator Tough Resin. Once finished, the Creator Super Clear has a recommended wash time of 10 minutes, followed by a post-cure under UV lights of only 5 minutes. I love watching the Super Clear prints cure though, it looks really awesome. The Creator Super Clear is a much stiffer resin, there is almost no flex. It will break and snap before bending. That does make removing supports a little bit more problematic. Anytime I would cut a support pillar, there was a chance that it would go flying around my office. The clear resin is beautiful though. It retains the clear appearance even when printing solid, hollow, or in very thin sections. The Creator Super Clear resin seems to capture the high detail of the models, where other clear resins might soften those details. The flowing hair of the Beer DDL model is mesmerizing to look at. The clear resin reflects light in a beautiful way. Looking at the Chitsu Box Torture Test, I'm seeing very impressive results. Like the Creator Tough, the Super Clear Resin only started struggling at the thinnest 0.2mm gap in wall thicknesses, but it printed the lattice test perfectly. It failed all four light supports, and failed one of the medium support tests, but the rest pass. Overall, this is also a great showing from the Creator Super Clear. And being a clear resin, I had to test two things. First, would it become see-through by polishing? And second, would a clear coat increase the clarity? So I printed some dice and chest pieces. And while still coated in resin out of the printer, they looked incredible. But as expected, after washing and curing, some of that transparency went away. So I set out to sand and polish the dice. I'd recommend watching my dice making video if you want the full details of my process. But I started sanding each face through 2000 grits, and then switched to my micro mesh pads to bring it up to 12,000 grits. Finally, a polish using Meguiar's Plastex Polishing Compound. The results were pretty good. There is definitely an increase in clarity when polishing, and it holds onto that polish surprisingly well. The Creator Super Clear also has very little internal voids or bubbles. These dice are almost perfectly solid. I also wanted to test if applying a clear coat would increase clarity. I used a crystal clear enamel to coat these chest pieces, and here's a before and after. The enamel definitely made it more see-through, but there was still a slight surface texture from the coating. I'll have to experiment more in the future to find the best coating for the Creator Super Clear, but it is a promising technique. The Creator Super Clear can also be dyed different colors if you want to tint your prints. Removing the gray super tough from the print bed was very easy. It didn't take much time to get under the prints and pop them off the build plate. The flexibility also made it less likely to tip the edges when prying underneath, and the larger rafts were able to be removed in a single piece. The Creator Super Clear was another story. It stuck extremely well to the print bed, probably too well. It took some time to get under the edge to pry it up, and it didn't want to pop off. And when I tried to remove the chest pieces, I had to become a barbarian to remove them. And I really mangled the build plates. Rafts were also hard to remove, because the super clear would snap rather than bend, so the raft would break into small pieces. Lowering the bottom layer exposure times would probably help, as would using a flexible build plate. I don't have a flex plate on this printer, so I'll have to try that in the future. A big selling point from Formlabs is the low odor. There was almost no odor or smells with the Creator Super Clear. Even immediately after printing, I couldn't smell anything. It was a good printing experience. No headaches, scratchy eyes, or nose while printing in an unventilated office with the Creator Super Clear. I wouldn't describe the Creator Tough Resin as particularly low odor though. The gray resin definitely had a smell while printing. My wife described it as a less harsh ABS smell, like a new plastic smell. After washing and curing the Creator Tough, the parts have a distinct pine tree smell. The smell from the parts dissipate over the next week or so. While printing, the odor did sit in the air, much like other resins that I've used. I'd probably recommend ventilation for the Creator Tough. I've heard that others don't detect that pine smell though, so it may vary from person to person. Another big contributor to smells, headaches, and the like is all the isopropyl alcohol used to wash the parts. My wash and cure station holds 15 liters of IPA, and it produces additional smells and irritations in unventilated offices. The Creator series of resins can be washed in normal IPA, just like other resins. But if you want a true low odor experience, I loved Formlabs washing solution for washing the parts. It washes the parts just as effectively, but it doesn't evaporate and create smells like IPA does. 
There's too much to talk about with the washing solution for this video, so I'll have a video showcasing that coming soon. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Finally, I wanted to compare print times between the Creator series of resins and my usual fast resins. I have this Eiffel Tower printed in the Formlabs Creator Tough, the Formlabs Creator Super Clear, and the Anycubic Standard Resin. It will scale to 200mm tall with 0.05mm layer heights. The Creator Tough printed in 29 hours and 40 minutes. The Creator Super Clear printed in 22 hours and 34 minutes. And the Anycubic Standard printed in 11 hours and 58 minutes. Even though the exposure time is 3 times slower, the Super Clear only took 1.9 times as long thanks to the quicker peel movements between each layer. The tough settings have slightly slower move speeds, and it only took 2.5 times as long as the Anycubic Resin. In conclusion, I love to see Formlabs branching out and making products available for the 3D printing community outside of their walled garden. And their approach to developing the Creator series of resins is super interesting. I haven't seen any other company shared validated print settings for a large variety of printers. It makes it very easy to find the right settings for your 3D printer, regardless of the brand of printer that you have. And even though I didn't find the Creator tough low odor, the printing experience was excellent. Easy to print, easy to remove, and the details are spectacular. The semi-flexibility and strength are perfect for parts that will be handled, like miniatures and figurines. They will bend instead of break. The Creator Super Clear resin was just as easy to print, and was actually low or no odor. However, it was much more difficult to remove from the print bed. A flexible print bed might help, as would finding the right bottom exposure times to get it to adhere just the right amount to your particular print bed. But the details of the prints are amazing, and the resin is truly clear after printing. And I haven't seen any yellowing in the few weeks since these parts were printed. Exposure times are much longer than other resins, but total print times are only about 2 to 2.5 two times slower than other fast resins thanks to the optimized recommended move speeds. Formlabs openly publishes the material safety data sheets, and their technical printing data sheets are packed full of information to help you get the most out of these resins. Their commitment to being ACMO free and sharing the research on the detrimental side effects on our health is eye-opening. It certainly made me rethink my stance of, oh, it's just the IPA vapors in the air that's making me feel a little off. The Creator series of resins are normally priced at $45 US per 1 kilogram bottle, about 1 liter of resin. At the time of recording, the Creator Tough is on sale for only $29.99 US per 1 kilogram bottle. The regular price is more expensive than other resins on the market, but the sales price makes that gap much smaller. If you are concerned about the safety of the resin you use, and are looking for alternatives that still have great printability and mechanical properties, then I'd recommend giving the Formlabs Creator Series of Resins a try. If you want more information, I'll have links to the Amazon listing and Formlabs store in the description below. So thank you all for watching my review of the Formlabs Creator Series Resins. What do you look for when searching for new resins? Is it price, mechanical properties, or do you just look for pretty colors? Let me know in the comments below. And I have plenty of upcoming 3D printing projects and reviews, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.